What's up, DNC? All right. Y'all remember this big old book from before? When Colorado Governor Jerry Polis ripped the page out of it? This is Project 2025, the Republican blueprint for a second Trump term. It is a, yeah, yeah, boo! <laughs> it is a real document that you can read for yourself at KamalaHarris.com forward slash Project 2025. You ever seen a document that could kill a small animal and democracy at the same time? <laughs> Here it is. You know how when you download an app and there are hundreds of pages there that you don't read, it's just the terms and conditions, and you just click agree, right? Well, these are the terms and conditions of a second Trump presidency. You vote for him, you vote for all of this. Let's take a look. All right, do we got Matt here with us tonight? Is Matt here? Hey, there he is. Matt, how are you, sir? All right, Matt. Now, Matt, I understand that you work as an AV tech in Nevada, and you make a decent hourly wage, is that right? Oh, I don't know if we can hear Matt. Can we hear Matt? So who's gonna fix it? Keep speaking, Matt, so we can hear you. Uh-huh, okay, that's good. I guess we're gonna move on from Matt. And this is Becky. Becky, can we hear you? Hi, Keenan. It's yeah. great to be here. Thank you. All right, good. <laughs> now, goodness. Becky, you're married, correct? I am. Me and my wife have been together for about eight years. Oh. That's amazing. Very, very Thanks. cute. Thanks. But I have got some bad news for you. <laughs> I hate that. On page 584, Project 2025 calls for the elimination of protections for LGBTQ plus Americans. So yeah, right terrible. back to the Stone yeah. Age. I'm afraid so. Right back to the Stone Age, that's terrible. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Becky, for being here and making that wonderful point. All right, next up. We have Nirvana. Nirvana, are you with us? And your people are with us as well? All right, good. Now, Nirvana, I understand yes. that you are on insulin to manage your diabetes, yes? Yes, and thanks to President Biden and Vice President Harris, I only pay $35 a month for my insulin. That is great. That is great. But on page 465, Project 2025 calls for millions of people like yourself to pay more for prescription drugs like insulin. Why? Why? Well, I guess maybe to help Big Pharma make more money that they can donate to Republican politicians, I assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, unfortunately, it does make sense. All right, let's talk to Anita. Anita, are you there? Yes. Hello, Anita. Hello. And Anita, what do you do for a living? I'm an OBGYN who delivers babies and does surgery. An OBGYN. She is an OBGYN that delivers babies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. It's bad news, isn't it? It sure is. On page 459, Project 2025 resurrects a law from the 1800s called the Comstock Act to ban abortion nationwide and throw healthcare providers in jail. Oh my God. Yes, it is awful. All right, let's do one more. Is Sharia with us? Sharia, are you there? Hey, Keenan, I'm here. Yes, Sharia, I love it. All right, let's talk to you. Um, I understand that you work for the federal government? 
Yes, sir. I'm in the United States Department of Education. I'm a proud civil servant and a proud union president. She works for the Department of Education and she's a proud civil servant. Well, unfortunately for you, on page 78, Project 2025 calls for President Trump to purge the civil service of everyone who isn't a MAGA loyalist. Are you a MAGA loyalist? Now, Keenan, <laughs> absolutely not. I, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I mean, you might as well be because also page 319 calls for the complete elimination of the Department of Education. I, it, yeah, there's, just a, there's a bunch of stuff in here, but that's all we have time for at the moment. Just remember, everything that we just talked about is very real. It is in this book. You can read it online at KamalaHarris.com forward slash project 2025. And most importantly, you can stop it from ever happening by electing Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States. of the Democratic National Convention. My name is Mindy Kaling. Thank you. For those of you who don't know me, I am an incredibly famous Gen Z actress who you might recognize from The Office. Thank you, The Mindy Project. woman who courageously outed Kamala Harris as Indian in an Instagram cooking video. Yes, you're welcome. I am so proud to be here supporting my friend, but the real reason I am here is that deep down I truly believe that as a woman of color and as a single mother of three, it is incredibly important that I be appointed ambassador to Italy. That's how this works, right? That's like, like why I'm here. I've never been, I'm dying to go. And guys, I just really need a break. Um, I know it's not the priority tonight, but just think about it. I am actually here because I have known the vice president for a long time. And I want to tell you one, a story about one of the first times I ever met her. She wasn't Madam Vice President then. She was my senator, and we were filming a video where she came to my home to cook dosas, a South Indian dish. Yes. It's not every day that a senator comes over, and I was pretty nervous. But when she arrived, we immediately hit it off. We talked about the love we have for our moms, who had both passed away from cancer. Both of our mothers were immigrants from India, who came to America and committed their lives to serving others. My mother, Swati, became an OBGYN. Thank you. <laughs> Kamala's mother, Shaimala, became a scientist with a PhD who dedicated her life to trying to find a cure for cancer. And after speaking to Kamala, it was clear to me that Shaimala had passed down the same optimism and fearlessness to her daughter. But the thing I remember the most about the vice president is that Kamala Harris can cook. Guys, she was so much better than me. But she also knew that my family was watching. So as she gently corrected my sloppy dosa making, she was complimenting me every step of the way making sure that my daughter, Kit, heard how good of a cook I am. She had no desire to be seen as better than anyone else. She just wanted my kid to be impressed with her mom. And when she finally, and when she finally bit into my dosa, she looked at me and said, mmm, really good, and then never took another bite again. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> but it is that warmth that generosity of spirit that I know she will bring to the White House as our next president. Kamala Harris 
cares deeply about other people. She will fight to protect our freedoms because those are the values that her mother passed down to her.